Okay, let's do some math for fun and here with this data for integral from 0 to 1, 0 to y, l n of 1 plus x over x, dx, dy. And if you haven't already, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, how did you guys do it? Well, unfortunately, ln of 1 plus x over x, it does not have an elementary function for its antiderivative. So, do not integrate this with integration by parts or use substitution whatsoever. It's not going to work, unfortunately. Hmm, in this case, what else can we do though? Well, notice that we do have a pretty nice expression for ln of 1 plus x as a power series, isn't it? And that's actually the strategy that we will be using in this question, okay? And if you really want to just use the power series for ln of 1 plus x over x and integrate that in the x world first, and then plug in 0, plug in y, and things like that, and then finish that in the y world, I'm going to leave that to you. <laughs> because I actually want to have the dy first. Why? Because if you want to integrate ln of 1 plus x over x inside of the y world, that's actually super easy. Because you can just put y next to it, that's all, right? So that's super nice. And I can also show you guys how to change the order of integration in this video as well, so that's cool. Anyway, let me just demonstrate this for you guys. So I will have the blue integral on our side. So, okay, so this is going to be with respect to x. And then I will have the integral in black right here. So the dy is actually going to go first, okay? And the integral will stay the same, so I will just write down ln of 1 plus x over x. And as I said, I will do the dy first and then the dx later. I can just put y next to it, that's it. But the challenging part is, you have to figure out what goes right here now. And to do that, we will have to look at a picture. So let me just draw a picture right here for you guys real quick. Well, let's look back here. Originally, we have dx first, and this is from 0 to y. This means x goes from 0 up to x goes to y. If you look at x is equal to 0, that means it's right here, right? That's this vertical line. It's pretty much the y-axis. And when we have x is equal to y, of course, it's the same as y equal to x. And you're talking about this line, okay? So this is where x is equal to y. And earlier, we, as we said, that was x equal to 0. So when you have dx first, you're looking at this from left to right, like this part. And you can imagine it's pretty much like this triangle because you go from here to here, right? And now you're looking at y, and which is from y equal to 0 up to y equal to 1. y equal to 0 is, of course, just this. And let me just label that right here. Right? And then y equal to 1, let me just mark it here, y equal to 1, and we have this horizontal line, like that. And we're going to enclose this region, and this is what we're talking about, okay? Now, when we have the y first, we have to look at the bottom to the top. So, when we have the bottom part now, check this out, you have to focus on the bottom, which is this right here, okay? that. Because this is the bottom of the region now, and what's this equation? It was x is equal to y, right? And of course, it's the same as saying y is equal to x. And that's what you have to put down right here. y goes from x. And then, you go to the top, which is just this line, y is equal to 1, right? So it's from here to here. So y goes from x to 1. And then, we have the dx. So that means we have to look at this from left to right. But you know it's going to be pretty much this region. You just have to focus on, okay, this right here is x is equal to 0, right? So x is equal to 0. And you want to finish at this point. And this value here of x is equal to 1. Because when y is equal to 1, x is of course the same as y in this case. So x is equal to 1 as well. So x goes from 0 to x is equal to 1. And that's pretty much it, okay? So some calculus three right here. Okay, now here comes the best part because we're going to integrate ln of 1 plus x over x inside the y world. And you see, this right here is just like a constant in the y world, so we can just put y next to it, that's all. All right, let me write this down. We still have the blue integral, and that's in terms of x, right? So going from 0 to 1, and then the result of this is just 
ln of 1 plus x over x, and we multiply this by y, and then this is going from x to 1, right? So y goes from x up to y goes to 1. And then we'll close this by dx. And then, as always, we're just plugging y into here and then subtract plugging x into here, and that's pretty much all we are talking about. And now, first part. When we're plugging 1 into here, we just have this guy, right? And you can enclose the integral. So let me write that down. This is just going to be the integral from 0 to 1. And we just have that. And let me just write down ln of 1 plus x over x. And I will, I will close this integral already, like that. And then we will minus plugging x into here. <laughs> That's actually really nice as well, isn't it? Because when we're plugging x into here, x and x will cancel each other out, and we just have ln of 1 plus x dx, like that, which is really nice. Okay, And now we just have to work this out and work that out. That's all. I am going to do the hard one for you guys, and you guys will do the easy one. Okay, You guys do this one Okay, on your own, and I'll just tell you guys the answer. The answer of this is going to be ln of 4 minus 1. If you dare to click on this video, right, when you see the thumbnail, you should be able to do this on your own when you get this for the answer. But I will go over this with you guys real quick. And this right here is the time that we have to use the power series. And let me just first put down the equal sign, and I'm going to do the work right here. So this is the integral from 0 to 1. And let's look at the 1 over x, and let's put it down right here first. And then, here we have the ln of 1 plus x, and it's equal to the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity, negative 1 raised to the nth power minus 1, and then over n times x to the nth power. And of course, at the end right here, we have the dx. And if you want to see how we come with this right here, you can check out the video. I will have the link to that video in the description for you guys. Okay, so this is what we have to deal with. And now we'll do two things right here. First is that I am just going to switch the integration and also the summation, okay? This is legit in this case. Let's see, we are going to have the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity, okay? And we have the integral, right, from 0 to 1, like this. And now, the second thing is that look at 1 over x, which is the same as x to the negative 1. x to the negative 1, you multiply by x to the nth power, you add the exponents, n plus negative 1. So you can just put that down, and let me just write this down. This stays the same. Negative 1 to the n minus 1 power over n. But once again, this and that together becomes x to the n minus 1 power. And let's have the dx first. And yeah, this is just a summation, so I'll put the parentheses like that. OK, how can we integrate this? Well, if you would like, you can just put this in the front as well, up to you. But you just care about the x in the x word, of course. So you have a power function right here, technically. n minus 1, you add 1 to the power, and then the new power is n, and you divide it by n. So I'll put n in the denominator, and that's how you integrate that. So you get the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity. This part stays negative 1 raised to the n minus 1 power over n times n is the n square, and then this right here is just x to the nth power, right? That's a new power now, x to the nth power. And then, don't forget, we still have to plug in x is equal to 1, uh, 0 to x is equal to 1, right? Okay, so let's see, I'll just write it down here. When you plug in, uh, let me just do it like this. When you plug in 1 into x, we get the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity. Infinity, and we just have this part, right? Namely, negative 1 raised to the n minus 1 power over n squared. And then you have this part, and then minus plugging 0 into here. And it's really nice because all the terms are solidly 0, and yeah, just 0 pretty much. Right, so of course you can ignore that part. And now, what's the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the n minus 1 power over n squared? This right here, it's really similar to the sum of the reciprocals of n squared, right? But this is the alternating version of it, which I have another video on this already. 
you can check that out. And this right here is equal to not pi squared over 6, but this is pi squared over 12. Okay? So watch the video and then you can see why this is correct. And now, of course, you see this integral is nothing but just pi squared over 12. And then, of course, I have to minus this result. Okay? This blue result right here is this. Put that in the parentheses, of course. Anyway, uh, in the end, you have the pi square over 12, and that's just depends if you want to put the ln number first or the 1 first, up to you. Minus ln 4, and then plus 1. Do we need to put plus e? No, we don't, okay? Don't worry too much about plus e. Anyway, this right here is a really nice double integral. Hopefully, it gets all like this. And if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. I like to make math videos for you guys. And anyway, as always, that's it.